my darlings. It is freezing out this morning. Literally, it's like 20 degrees. And that happens in November in upstate New York. Last night we actually had a little, I call it snain, snow and rain. Not sleet, but snain, you know what I mean? Anyway, good morning. We have bright blue skies, leaving the cave. It's like 8.30ish. I hope you remember to set your clocks back. God knows we still need daylight savings time, right? When are they going to get rid of that? So I am off to the nest. We have a busy day today. Not, you know, too crazy, but I do have a doctor's appointment at noon. And Tom is going to come with me. And then we're going to take you guys to one of our favorite vegan restaurants called Pure City. Pinebush, New York, and we haven't been there in a few months, maybe longer than a few months, and it is so amazing, and wait do you guys check out this food, so I'm really already looking forward to lunch, you know how I do, and I apologize for last week's missing footage, and I think it was hilarious, at one point I'm driving, talking about how good I am getting the footage off my computer, and patting myself on the back. And the whole time I'm watching that, I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> but what are you going to do? That's what happens sometimes, right? you got to roll with it. And like I said, I learned my lessons the hard way. So try to be a little more careful. And I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. Just random bits and bobs, some stuff from Amazon, a couple things I've been working on. And I have been working for like a week now on this month's Gypsy and Witch project, just trying different ways to do kind of the same thing. So starting to spend a little more time with that stuff. I used to wait till like the day before and just throw something together and that's not the right way to do it. So I've been enjoying that and I've just left my kitchen table all set up with my studio. That's my studio, my kitchen table. So I think that's all I have to tell you right now. That's all I can think of. My brain isn't really working yet. I've only had one cup of coffee. So you saw on, if you follow me on Facebook, you saw the big pot of vegetable soup I made yesterday. That was incredible. And we had that for dinner last night. So isn't that exciting? Got to get some bird food still not going to hang the suet up and somebody was surprised that I have bears around here but yes we definitely have black bears and brown bears and mountain lions and why are you all the way in my parking spot dude we have this huge driveway to park in and somebody's parked right up where I go that's all right I could share the lot anyway I'm back at the nest I'll see you inside Okay guys, it's about 10 o'clock now. I've already had another cup of coffee and I'm dressed. Look at this beautiful day. It is really cold out though, so here we are. And let me, I have some stuff to show you. So let me set up the tripod, give you a little tour in the dark there. And just get on with our day. I have, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to show you. So, I'm going to be on the road. Just hanging out. Oh, yes. Lots of stuff happening over there, like I said. Um, and I shared a couple things on Facebook. Oh, and I know. Remember last week when I did... I don't know if you guys have ever seen this vase... This I got at, an, at the auction last year, I think. Um, but I shared this with you guys. And I made this out of an artichoke hearts jar. And it's my potion of lost souls. So you can see, I always love polymer clay and the top comes off. Um, and yeah, I'm really loving it. I'm still such a newbie in so many ways, but... It's a lot of fun. It's really easy to work with. I like it. Uh, da, da, da. I feel like I want to catch up on stuff I 
missed showing you last week. Um, good morning, window. Everybody's doing really well there. Remember um, our leeks? They're doing really well. I'm going to have to put them in some dirt. I wanted to wait to show you guys, but... Yeah, you just put a little bit of water in there. Not too much, otherwise they get mushy. But now I'll plant them to, you know, like right above there. Leave the top sticking out. Not that I need more leeks. I have a lot. Whoa, whoa, hello. And last week, in the missing footage, which I'll probably reference 12 times, I made a fake and bacon like BLT with avocado, and I wound up planting the avocado seed. So I haven't done one of these in a while. And also, I put the lettuce in a little bit of water, and that's really doing very well, too. You guys know, if I can plant it, I will. And I also made a big vat of veggie broth with all our freezer scraps, and I used that in yesterday's soup which came out really good. And if Tom and I weren't going out to dinner today, or lunch, or whatever, dunch, um, I would be having that with you guys. But, you know, let me give you some more glary shots of the sun here. Um, so, you know, I keep busy, you guys. And, oh, yeah, am I going to do a beaded window video? Yes, I am. I promise. I even put some, I've been trying to practice my wire wrapping skills a little bit. So I was making, oh, hello, Rainbow. Excuse my nails. I need to uh, take care of that. But I was, you know, practicing learning bales and things like that. So we're getting one step closer. Yeah, I'm still a newbie. I'm a newbie at so many things, you know. But wire work is one of them. And let's see what else I cannot focus on. Oh, you know what? Do do do. Burning some of that Fred Salt's Magical Copal this morning. A little goes a long way. Love this stuff. Hello, coffee. Back to the Palo Santo oil. Yeah, been loving this. And I gave the other diffuser, I think you saw last week, I was packing it up. Um, the second one I got, I gave to Tom. So he has that now. And I just constantly use them, and I'm loving it. And speaking of being a newbie, I still have so much to learn uh, about essential oils. You know, I always say I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot. But I appreciate your guys' tips and helpfulness and advice. Um... Yeah, so much to learn. If you have any good books on essential oils, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot to learn. And I know a bit about the properties of each, um, like healing and magically and things like that. But as far as, you know, how to determine good quality oils and methods of distillation and where they're harvested and all that stuff, um, it's, it's a new world for me. So, anyway, there's that. And did I mention I have a lot to show you guys? Hello, tomatoes. I have, um, wow, it really is rainbow hour here today. Look at this. All my crystals. Rock Hill rocks. Yes, you guys. I took down, I want to do some window treatments here for this window. And that's, again, when I get annoyed at the fact that I, it's hard for me to get up on a ladder anymore or anything. But um, wouldn't it be cool to do like, oh, I don't know, purple or silk or I don't know. And you know what was cool this week too? I reconnected on Facebook with an old dear friend of mine. Shout out to Tuan Woman. Um, who gave me this son 30 years ago. I can't even believe it, but shout out to her. And uh, shout out to Jamie in California, too, who's doing well. So connected with a lot of uh, pe past peeps this week. 
and that was great. My sister of the moon, Donathan, came over to visit me. And speaking of visits, one thing I wanted to show you uh, is this <laughs> rainbow-infused wooden artist board. Look at this, you guys. It's huge, but it's actually, it's wood. It's made to, it's got like a cutout here. It's made for like a lap board. It's super big, but last, I guess it was Saturday night. I was here and I heard a knock at the door and it was dark in here. I always keep the lights off and stuff. And it was my sister Sunshine, Patty Greco Sunshine. Shout out to that funky hippie chick and her husband, Jonathan. Uh, they had come from the auction and saw this beautiful board and thought of me and they left it on the porch with Patty's business card. So I was like, oh my God, thank you. Um, in the dark, I wasn't sure what it was at first until I pulled it in. So that is beautiful. And I'm so blessed and so grateful. And I will be putting this in the closet. It's big. I could also use this as like a background for my filming and stuff. So, and I think you could see here this box where I keep all the stuff I want to show you so let me set up the tripod and I'll show you that stuff and like I said it's about 10 o'clock I want to leave here at 11 30 um, my appointment is for a carotid ultrasound so they're going to do an ultrasound of my carotid arteries um, for I've told you guys I have a hereditary blood clotting disorder and this is part of my regular routine vascular workup um, I have an appointment with my vascular guy next week. Shout out to Dr. Fioranti. So today I'm going to have the carotid ultrasound. And Friday I'll be going in for a PVR, which is a peripheral vascular response test. Um, I think I've told you guys, for those of you who don't know, I'm a left leg amputee. And on the right hand side, my right leg was always my bad leg. Um, I don't refer to it that way anymore. <laughs> Uh, but that has about 35% circulation uh, in it. I've had three bypasses on that leg, so I have to go in and just make sure that things are maintaining status quo. And yeah, so that's why I'm going to the doctor today. In case you were wondering, so um, is that all I have to say? I think so. Let me set up my tripod. Well, hello there. Okay, in no particular order. Oh, first of all, speaking of Facebook, <laughs> check this out, you guys. If you haven't seen this already, speaking of the auction, this is my magical can opener. Um, yesterday, I told you, I've been playing with clay, and yesterday I went to open, I was making the soup and I had canned some tomatoes from the summer and I went to open the top of the jar and it, it was an ugly can opener. I had got it in the auction in a, we used to get these dollar box lots, which was a dollar for a whole box full of stuff that you really didn't know was in there. And this was in there and it was this ugly brown, like it was just ugly and it said Las Vegas, Nevada on the back. Shout out to Las Vegas, Nevada, but it has no meaning to me. And every time I looked at it or used it, I thought, boy, that's ugly. Boy, that's ugly. And I thought, let's make it pretty. So I jazzed it up with some polymer clay. Um, and let me know if you'd be interested in, I say that all the time. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video showing you how I did something like this. I know it's a bit much. Um, but it's very magical, right? And I had fun with it. And I have utensils that, speaking of Jamie, Jamie and my sister of the moon, Donathan, made these polymer clay utensils years ago, like 20 years ago now, 15 years ago. And I still have them and they've been washed and I use them all the time and the polymer clay has held up. So um, the worst that'll happen is this bling will fall off, but I don't care. Isn't that fun? So, yeah, there's that. And, again, you guys, in no order. This came from Amazon. 
This is a spool of faux suede. So this is vegan suede. No cows were harmed in the making of this product. And I wanted, you know, just for my projects and stuff. And it looks like it's really good quality. And I'll put links to anything I show you guys uh, below, as well as check out my new Amazon store. I've been having fun filling that up. So, yeah, there's some faux suede. And I don't know how much that was. A few, like, $8 maybe? And then, if you guys saw my last uh, Dyson Deal page, journal page, you saw that I used some Delusions ink sprays. Whoa. I love these. Just shaking it up. Um, and I needed some new ones. You could see in the video, I'm like, oh. So this is Calypso Teal, and this is Bubblegum Pink. And I still need to get some crushed grape. But I love these. Um, you know I love my Deco Art Media Misters, too. The Deco Art are acrylic and permanent. These are not. These are water-based. They lift up and they reactivate, but that's part of their charm. And if, you know, I've been watching some Diane Reevely videos lately. She's so cool. I had no idea she, she was so cool, but should have figured with the cool products, right? So there's that. Again, got that on Amazon. And then this, you could totally, you guys know, we're all influenced by people we see on YouTube. And I want to give a shout out right now to Vegan as Fork. Um, I'll put a link to their channel below. It's a mother-daughter duo who I think they actually live like close, like within a 50-mile radius or something. So they're kind of local. Um, and I love their videos, and they have great recipes. And they were talking about these Butler Soy Curls. And I've never tried these. And they're supposed to be like very like chicken strip kind of uh, texture and consistency. So you rehydrate them in water or broth. Um, and they absorb the flavor. And then you wring them out and cook them up. So I'm looking forward to, I will show you guys when I make some of these. Maybe we can do like a, uh, a stir fry next week or something. But I got a three pack of these. And I think it was like $19 for three of them. So anxious to try that. And then uh, these did not come from Amazon, but I was so happy. I should have went back and got more. The other day I was in Rite Aid in the morning and everything is on clearance from Halloween. And I needed some new uh, mini lights anyway. The ones that I had above my kitchen windows burned out, I don't know, over a month ago. Um, but I paid $1.75 for this pack of mini lights. So totally excited about that. I sh like I said, I should have grabbed a few. Um, these are great. Oh. Hello. You know what these look like. They're like Christmas lights, but these are purple. What is better than that? And, you know, that's a lot, Right? $1.75. Go Rite Aid. And, and I used to, oh my gosh, when I was a crazy coupon lady, I used to, Rite Aid used to pay me to take stuff out of the store. Using their up rewards and coupons, I would get hundreds of dollars of stuff for sometimes money back. It was insane. And they finally caught on to that because so many people were doing that. And that was right around the time when I first got into couponing. Anyway, I used to love me some Rite Aid, and I was there all the time. And I also got this little set. These are mini LED lights. Always good for projects. And these were like $1.50. And these will never burn out. You know? Well, never say never, but LED lights last a long time, and they don't heat up, etc., etc. So those came from Rite Aid. Super cheap, and... Tempted to go back, but how much does one girl need? And, oh, speaking of Rite Aid, it's so funny. I just wanted to share with you guys. My favorite nuts are peanuts, but right behind peanuts are pistachios. And I have been eating these things so much lately. Do you guys like these? Um, I These were 
at the checkout aisle in Rite Aid, and a couple weeks ago I picked up a bag, and I was like, oh, I should buy these more often. So I got these when I got the lights, and then I saw up on the counter they had the big box or the big bag, so I picked that up too. That's in the pantry, but I have to watch it. I mean, they are mostly fat, but it's good fat, and they're so delicious. And I have memories of my sister Sue when we were kids. She probably, to this day, still loves pistachio nuts, but they were the red dyed ones, and her fingers would always be dyed red from eating pistachio nuts. What's your favorite nut? Sometimes you feel like a nut. Oh, yeah. And I showed you this last week. Speaking of polymer clay and things that um, I may do tutorials on, I was just messing around and I had made this pendant, which is kind of trippy looking. Um, yeah, like a magical pendant, right? And I had asked, I posted a picture of it on Facebook, and I asked if anyone had wanted me to do a tutorial on it. You know, I was like, yay or nay? And most people said yay, and one person said nay. And I had to admire their uh, honesty, actually. I was like, oh, do you not like it, or should I just not do a tutorial on it? But you have to be careful when you ask for people's opinions, uh, because they will tell you. So I just... I. I admired that person for being like, nah, no thank you. But what do you think? Yay or nay? And don't just blow smoke up my butt. If you don't think it's cool, uh, let me know. But, yeah. Polymer clay could be fun. Oh, and another thing I just had to share with you. I got these at Rite Aid, too. Um, and this goes to show you how much of a creature of habit I am. I went to, as my hair is growing out now, and I tend to revert back to the same hairstyle I've had since I'm seven years old, honestly. Um, and I went to pick up, I needed barrettes because like pens and things like that, they get lost, right? So there's a bazillion choices. And don't you know, I had to hunt down that, just dropping everything today. Uh, the same ones that I've been buying for years and years and years. I am a creature of habit. I'm a pretty basic girl, and these are the barrettes that I use. And there were some cool ones, too, with like beads and things like that. And I was like, no, go back to what I know and I'm comfortable with. And something else that I showed you last week that I will show you again, and I had to laugh. Um, I'll kind of show you two things simultaneously. Well, actually, you know what? I'll do this first. I had gotten two uh, lovely pieces of correspondence in the mail uh, from some wonderful subbies. One being my dear friend and sister, Miss Dina Miller, Milady Leela. I've talked about her before. I will link her channel below. She's an amazing, witchy, cool, rock and roll sister of the moon. Um, and she blesses me with blessings often. So I had read her letter, and thank you, sweet Dina. And she just, she sent me some goodies, and I'll share these with you, including this really magical um, planner clip that she created out of a, like a boho bead. And she's really into planners and um, that kind of stuff. So thank you, sister. I love this. And then she also included some Halloween stuff, this really cool napkin, which I will use in a project, I'm sure, as well as this die-cut pumpkin doily, and I'd never seen anything like that, and you could see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a pumpkin there, jack-o'-lantern face, and then this, which I will definitely be using as a focal image uh, in some artwork in the future. Isn't that amazing? Love her. And I had to laugh, Dina, because I was watching one of your videos last week and you started talking about deodorant and you were like, I don't know if it's appropriate to talk about deodorant or not. Well, at the same time, I had this in the box that I was wanting to talk about today. So it is appropriate to talk about your deodorant. People do care. Um, at least I do. I want to know all that stuff. I'm nosy. 
Anyway, I had to laugh because, once again, synchronicity being what it is, we were both talking about deodorant. And not only did I talk about it last week, but I'll talk about it this week. And it's been sitting here in the box, so I haven't had a chance to use this. But this is the Kiss My Face Cucumber Green Tree Liquid Rock deodorant. So I am familiar with the Crystal Rock deodorants uh, in the past. And right now I have a Tom's of Maine deodorant that I'm using. But I have not tried this. Um, I do like Kiss My Face brand. And this is a roller ball. So that's a plus for me. And it's supposed to not leave any white marks. And it does smell very nicely of cucumber. So let me know what your favorite deodorant is. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to know. So I just had to laugh about that. So, And also, speaking of amazing people, I got this postcard. And shout out to Jane Wilkes. Um, I found Jane on YouTube, and she found me. We found each other, and she is an incredible artist. I will also link her channel below, um, and she has done some really wonderful potion bottles and shadow box kinds of arrangements, and she's really cool. You guys are going to love her, and she lives in uh, Brighton-on-Hove. Is that it? In Hove? in England, in the United Kingdom, um, across the pond, and that is on my bucket list to one day get there. So hopefully one day I'll be able to hop on my broom and fly over and meet all you cool people. So, you guys, I thought I had more to show you. That's it for now. That's enough, right? Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about, because you might just see me wincing, I guess this is my video to complain. Um, I finally am getting rid of the, thank God, the um, cold allergy thing that was going on. But somehow, you guys, this week, my shoulder is shot. And I used to have, like, bursitis and those kinds of things. But honestly, since my diet has changed, knock wood, I haven't experienced any kind of arthritis or those kinds of things. It literally feels like my shoulder's been pulled out of the socket. Now, I have full range of motion, like, well, I don't have full range of motion. I have partial range of motion. Um, I can, like, kind of go back and forth okay without pain. I definitely cannot go any further, like, this hurts to go sideways with it. Um, I've located a knot up here in my shoulder that seems to feel, it's like a good pressure point, that if I push it, it helps. Tom's been helping me with massage and, ah. Uh, but it's really like, oh man, you just you feel like if you just got a good adjustment or something, it would pop back in. I wouldn't mind so much, except for the fact that it's aggravated by walking on crutches, which is what I do when I'm out and about. So I don't want to aggravate it more, but I mean, I kind of don't have a choice right now. Someday I'm going to have a really cool wheelchair that I can like, wheel down to the car and be able to transport around. That day is not yet here. Why did I go off on that segue? I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at and um, it's been bothering me. So if you see me wince a little involuntarily, that's what's going on. But I'm sure it will be fine. It feels so good to just like press right there. Anyway, thanks for letting me share that with you. And I was noticing, and I don't know if you noticed, but I am wearing, speaking of that funky hippie chic sister of mine, Miss Patty Greco, I am wearing a funky hippie chic dress today. Check this out, you guys. Some of you may have seen this when I bought it, but this is a full, like, handkerchief skirt, and this vest that I'm wearing on top is a velvet vest that I got at a thrift store a million years ago. Let's see if I can turn around. It's plain in the back, but it does have a tie waist. I don't know how good you can see this. And I'm wearing it with a boot and another skirt underneath as per usual. So let me entertain you. I'm kind of glad. It's 1030 now. I have about an hour before we're going to go over to the cave. So let me clean this stuff up and get ready to get back on the road. We'll go grab Tom. He's coming with me to my appointment. He's such a sweetie bear. And then did I mention we're going to go to Pier City? Ah! I'm so excited. 
they have this appetizer there called Golden Roll, and it's a vegan restaurant, okay? So there's no meat, there's no animal products. It's incredible, and I, I want to sit in this woman's kitchen. She started creating these recipes for her son, who was gluten intolerant and things like that. So based on those recipes, she created this amazing, wonderful restaurant in Pinebush, and they have an appetizer there that is called Golden Roll, and I wish I knew how she created it. I will sh We will be getting some today, and I'll share it with you. And I was trying to think how we first found this place. Um, I used to live in Pinebush a million years ago when I was a child from like 8 to 12. Uh, and this place sure didn't exist then. But I think it was Steve Schwartz from Steve's Music. Shout out to Steve's Music and his mom, Sylvia. I think they took us there for the first time. And it's so good. So I'm really excited. I know Tom's excited too. And I'm already salivating, thinking of what I'm going to get. So that's what our day is going to hold today. And I hope you guys are all doing well. If I haven't said that yet, um, I do hope you're doing well. And thank you for being here and being so amazingly supportive. Um, I just, I love and appreciate you guys so much. So that being said, I'll see you the next time I see you. All right, let's, I'll show you some music trivia. It was Led Zeppelin today. Yeah. Love you guys. And you know what I've noticed, you guys? In the past, I always post on my Facebook page in the morning music trivia from music.com as well as a YouTube video to accompany it. And in the past, I was able to just post this on my page and you could click on the link and the video would play. While that's no longer happening, um, YouTube videos are being directed back to YouTube, which I think is a good idea, actually, uh, as a YouTube creator. But, you know, in the past, I'd show you this trivia and then click here and the video would play. Well, now when I click, it takes me to YouTube. So that's something different. But, yeah, any Led Zeppelin fans out there? Okay, guys, before we go, I'm going to bottle up some soup here to bring to my neighbor next door. And I thought I would just show you because I know you want to know. So I let this cool in the pot last night, but this is what we're looking like. And like I said, I made this with uh, fresh vegetable broth from the scraps I keep. And I sauteed a yellow onion and added chopped celery, chopped carrots, a whole head of garlic, and chopped potatoes, a jar this size of fresh canned chopped tomatoes, the veggie broth, I said that already, uh, lentils, probably like a cup-ish, cup and a half of lentils, and salt, pepper, garlic powder, rosemary, thyme. Uh, it's amazing. The only thing I wish I had is some barley. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put some of this in a jar for Peggy. And I have to tell you, if I could recommend any kitchen tool, I use this wide mouth funnel so much. Um, I can't even tell you. So I think it was like 3 or $4 or something. But yeah, this is what soup's looking like. I don't know how well you can see that. It's so good, you guys. Tom and I had this for dinner last night, and with another fake and bacon, tomato, lettuce, and avocado sandwich, and some of that Dave's bread. I'm always talking about food. Oh my goodness, I'm hungry. But yeah, this was so good, and I know my neighbor's not feeling so well this week, so I'm going to bring her some soup before we go over to Tom's, to the cave, get that man of mine, and go to the doctor. So, what's your favorite kind of soup? I love soup in this weather, in all weather. 
and yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Oh yeah, and I added uh, frozen peas too. But you can have whatever you have on hand, you know. Remember stone soup? You just add a stone to the pot and whatever you got. And there's that. But let me know what your favorite is. And I'll give you a better view of this dress. <clears throat> but again, this is a classic example. I cannot wear these around the house because I constantly run over them in my wheelchair. So... Uh, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. I'll put a link to Patty's store below. Uh, everybody loves it when I go over there. She's got good stuff. Yeah. So, two thumbs up. On the road again. Mission accomplished. Soup delivered. And we are on the road. It turned out to be a gorgeous day. Probably like 45 or 50. Your weather report today brought to you by Callie Black. Ah, yeah, so I'm all invigorated right now. And yeah, my shoulder's killing me. Crutches aren't helping, I gotta tell you. And I hate to like make a big deal out of it because Tom worries and stuff, but I've been eating way too much ibuprofen. I'll tell you that much. Whoa. Hello. Are you really turning? I don't know if I believe you. Oh, you are. Okay. You never know sometimes, folks. And when I turn off onto my road, there's kind of a blind hill. Oh, now there's a gentleman who is blowing leaves. Now, no offense to anyone who blows their leaves, but to me, that just seems like, I don't know. Is that easier than raking? You're kind of just blowing the leaves around. Now, first of all, I'm a big fan of letting the leaves lay where they lay um, and make some compost for the earth, but I guess I can understand if people want to manicure their lawns and stuff and it can impede the growth of things. So I could see like when I was a kid, we used to rake our leaves and my dad used to burn them sometimes. That smell puts me right back there and we'd jump in them or make a scarecrow or whatever, but we didn't have leaf blowers back then. And now I see these guys kind of blowing leaves on a windy day and it seems like half the leaves they blow into a pile get blown away. Just, Is there a better way to spend your time? I don't uh, so, yeah, speaking of leaves, let me give you a little bit, well, you know what, I'll wait, because we're getting close, but I will show you some scenery. We're going to take uh, the scenic route to the restaurant today, so have I mentioned how much I love you guys, and thanks for being here? So, I'll see you when we get, I'll see you when I see you. I hate to, I don't want to project where I'm going to be, who knows, right? <laughs> I'm in one of those kind of moods. Anyway, yeah, happy beautiful day, beautiful people. Okay, I grabbed my sweetie bear, and we're going to go to the doctor, and I'll check in with you once we're there. Here we are, guys. Let the fun begin. Okay, guys, that fun is over. Um, I did ask if we could videotape in there, but because of HIPAA laws and, you know, confidentiality, yada, 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 she offered us a tape of the ultrasound. I passed. Um, but yeah, quick and painless. From what I could peek at, everything looked normal, but it's been a long time since I've been up on my imaging studies. We are playing parking lot uh, merry-go-round madness right now. And we are going to go on our way to Pure City and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. So I don't have my car mount with me, but I will show you some scenery. And have I mentioned we're getting some golden rolls? See you when I see ya.
guys, this is the Pure City appetizer for two. Mm, these are like spring rolls, um, barbecue riblets, but all vegan. This is like fried seaweed. These are the golden rolls. Oh my god. And we got extra golden rolls. Plus we ordered lunch. So here's some dipping sauces. Oh yeah. Okay guys, of course we're full from appetizers, but Tom got the orange veggie nugget. Amazing. And I got rainbow seitan strips with a string beans. Incredible. Haven't even tried it yet. I'm already saying it's incredible. Okay, guys, this is what's coming home with us tonight. We did good, but so many appetizers. Amazing. Amazing. show you we stopped off at this little cool store called the cosmic corner and it's just like a little hippie store and you know I forgot to bring my camera in but I wanted to show you they have dupe sticks which are the nag champa but they're shorter and fatter and stronger than the regular nag champa so we stocked up on some of those it also comes with this little incense burner so we got a few of those, and then, yes, I told you, Tom loves incense as much as I do. They have the Nag Champa cones, hang on, um, these are dupe cones, and then they also had the Super Hit cones, uh, which I've never seen. Now, I like Super Hit. It's like Nag Champa Plus. Um, if you like Nag Champa, you'll probably like this. Why this isn't focusing, I don't know. But, yeah, so we just picked up a, a whole bunch of incense. 
And I also got a cool bell. Check this out, guys. And it has an ohm sign on it. Can you see that? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Trust me, it does. And I am a big Bell fan. So we had a lovely afternoon. We're going to get a cup of coffee and probably just head back to the cave. I'm going to do my editing there. I'm not putting anything on a hard drive today. So let me flip the camera around and say goodbye or see you later. See you in a minute. Well, hello there. Okay, hello, goodbye. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It's a little all over the place. I'm not really sure what kind of footage I have, but thanks as always for hanging out. You know how much I love you guys, right? So I'm sending you a lot of peace and love. Ear tugs for the grandkids. Stay tuned. Um, Gypsy and the Witch is coming up at midnight on the 15th. And I have like, I got a bunch of stuff coming out, guys. I promise. Definitely some polymer clay. So stay tuned and have a beautiful week. And I'll talk to you guys very soon, okay? Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.